Hi, my name is Bob Lindy. I'm an herbalist and an herb grower. Today I'm going to talk to you about gardening decoration tips. There's a number of different things that you should take into account as you're trying to decorate or actually either your garden or your yard in general. When we're looking at adding any kind of flowers or decorative plants into our garden, we want to try to stay away from straight lines. Basically, we like to add curves, gentle curves, kidney shapes, and so forth to create nice flowering beds. Oftentimes, we also want to have a centerpiece that will be not in the dead center of the particular bed, but slightly off center. We'll put our taller plants towards the back and our shorter plants towards the front. Something else to take into consideration if we're looking at the decorative aspects of some of the plants we may put in a particular bed is actually what might be in bloom or might have leaves on it at a particular time of year. We can actually watch an entire spectrum of colors transform throughout the seasons as one plant flowers and another one becomes more dominant. Certain things look good in the winter time with or without leaves and those might actually create a whole different feel to the bed. But I also like to add something other than plants into my beds oftentimes, both in my culinary gardens as well as my decorative gardens. So I like to think of the Asian concept of the five elements, where we look at fire, earth, water, metal, and wood. So the wood is easy, the sunlight provides us the fire, but sometimes we can add a small pond or water feature in. Oftentimes we can look at a metallic structure, certain some types of old rusty uh, types of wheelbarrows or bicycle tires or something can actually add a whimsical look into a garden that adds a certain enjoyable feel of kept but unkept. And also I like to oftentimes add stone structures in, either a stone animal, a decorative pedestal, or even an old flower pot that I think has a little appeal. Oftentimes because I like to think there's energy imbued into my plants, I'll take a particular a statue of a saint or certain type of uh, philosopher that will look over the plants and imbue a certain power and add a meditative quality to it. So go ahead and use your own enjoyable eye. Look at a plethora of different colors that bring you pleasure. Look at the change of seasons and how those plants will change. Get a layer to look. Clump your plants together so that you don't have something just sitting out by itself. Make sure that it has an even flow as if it was in nature. And add other elements into your garden to add a certain extra little snap of uh, eye change or eye color that can come in from having a metal or stone object or even a living thing. This is Bob Lindy talking to you about garden decorating tips.